a Chinese company just dropped a bombshell in the AI world. And honestly, it's like they've come out of nowhere and straight up embarrassed OpenAI. Forget GPT-4 or even OpenAI's latest O1 preview, this new model. DeepSeek are one light, just beat them all. No, I'm not exaggerating. This thing is insane. It's officially the most powerful open source AI model we've ever seen. Google Anthropic and none of them have anything like this. And guess what? It's using this crazy QSTAR technology that, until now, was pretty much OpenAI's secret sauce. So today, we're diving into what makes DeepSeek or One Light so revolutionary, how it's already breaking records, and why this could completely shift the future of AI. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk numbers, because DeepSeek or One Light preview is smashing benchmarks. Take the AIM 2024 competition. It's this ridiculously hard math test. To give you some perspective, OpenAI's GPT-4 scored a 9.3. Even Anthropic's Claude Sonnet only managed a 16. But DeepSeek, 52.5. Like, what? That's not just beating the competition. It's obliterating it. And it's not just math. It crushed Code Forces, a platform for competitive programming. It scored 1450, solving tough coding challenges like it was nothing. That's next level reasoning and problem solving right there. And, and last but not least, in a benchmark called ZebraLogic, this thing dominated again, solving puzzles that would stump most other models. The performance jump here isn't just noticeable, it's huge. When comparing DeepSeek's or One Light Preview with OpenAI's One Preview, the differences are massive in certain areas. These are numbers that make you wonder what's going on behind the scenes at DeepSeek. Now before we dive too deep into these benchmarks, let's talk a bit about who DeepSeek AI actually is and how they're pulling this off. Founded in 2023, yes, just last year, and based in China, DeepSeek is focused on building the next generation of AGI. And the craziest part? They are in just two months. I mean, that's seriously insane. OpenAI hasn't even released their full O1 version yet, but here comes the Chinese O1 model. This is a huge win for the open source community, especially considering that OpenAI has moved away from full transparency. OpenAI has not allowed access to the reasoning behind O1's thought process, which is concerning. Now, here's where things get really interesting. DeepSeek isn't just better on paper, it's smarter in practice, thanks to something called test time compute scaling. All right, let's break this down. So test time compute, it sounds super technical, but it's actually a pretty simple idea once you get it. It's all about how much computational power a model uses when it's doing its thing, like answering questions, solving problems, or generating text. Most of the focus in AI has always been on training, you know, making the model smarter by feeding it data. But test time compute, that's about what happens after the training is done. It's about how the model uses its brain power to give you the best possible result. Let's start with why this matters now. Normally, when you want better performance from a model, you just make it bigger, right? Bigger models, more data, more compute power, boom. Better results. But here's the catch. Multiple sources now confirm that this traditional scaling approach, the idea of just building bigger and bigger models, is starting to hit a wall. We're not seeing the same crazy leaps in performance we got when moving from GPT-3 to GPT-4. It's just not as efficient anymore and the returns are diminishing fast. On top of that, making massive models gets expensive really quickly. And let's be real, not everyone has the resources of OpenAI or Google to build these monster models. This is where test time compute comes in. It's like a cheat code. Instead of making the model bigger, you let it think harder. You give it more time to process a problem or analyze the input, and guess what? The answers get better. Unlike OpenAI or one model DeepSeek's models actually show their chain of thought. When this model answers questions, you can see how it's reasoning. Like, someone asked it how many RS are in strawberry, and it literally walked through its process step by step. It even questioned itself, like, wait, are there three RS in that word? It's almost like watching a human figure things out. This transparency is huge because it lets us understand why the model gets things right or wrong. Compare that to OpenAI, where they've started hiding their model's reasoning steps. Yeah, not a great look. So, what does this mean for the future? Honestly, it feels like we're stepping into a whole new era of AI. OpenAI's GPT-4 has been sitting at the top for a while, but now, DeepSeek is here, and they're not playing around. If they keep up this pace, we could see AGI artificial general intelligence way sooner than anyone expected. Imagine AI not just solving specific problems, but being flexible, creative, and solving problems we didn't even think to ask. That's the kind of future we're talking about here. All right, I've got to know what do you guys think. Is DeepSeek about to take over the AI world, or do you think OpenAI is going to bounce back? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, if you found this breakdown interesting, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. Trust me, the AI world is only getting crazier from here, and you're going to want to keep up. All right, that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.